Hello and welcome to a very special something different. So, I woke up to this morning to check out that war he or heresy Thursday. You know, that grand tradition that's never been broken. I'm kidding, of course. And um, besides finding that my voice was getting a little rougher because I think I picked something up, it was a Warhammer Underworld. Hell, here's how to get started in the new edition. And I thought, oh, okay. Who plays this? Has anyone actually seen other people play it? Is it any good? Um, is this just another one of those attempts by Games Workshop to push into the air quote esports competitive crowd that I've heard so much about? And uh, as my cat rebels in the background, I was looking through and I went, I just don't know. I've only seen it in the store a few times, and I've never seen people actually playing it. So I don't know a huge amount, but it has decks and tokens and little teams on a board, and I've heard good about it, but I just was like, I don't know. Is there a reason for this system to be around? Is it popular enough to warrant being there and then i saw the uh, what is this the grand alliance boxes and i went what in the hell <laughs> four teams shoved into one box with almost nothing connecting them and they all seem to be older teams which seems more of a ploy to force you to buy more of their old stock and move it out Th to get one team than anything else and I just went I don't know it just doesn't seem like something that's a real big uh, mover and shaker out there in the hobby or at the very least I haven't seen it so if you have or you you got that experience let me know ladies and gentlemen as my cat decides to fight over the microphone with me but um, I don't know I was just sitting there going man we're we're getting close to the end of the year we got some stuff that they could be talking about help imagine if they had actually announced the dark mechanicum for horse heresy and they could have been putting out articles about that and all that fun stuff instead of you know an advertisement for something that in my opinion i don't know i'm not the uh the uh, lord master of this reality but um it seems like a fairly dead game i just don't understand the push for it unless this is its last gasp and why is it last gasping all over you know the marketing for something else is there a bigger thing coming for heresy i know there's a bigger box and i've heard rumors of a heresy third edition Along with uh, several other things that have made me not super excited. About the only thing I think I'd care about at this point is that they put the Mark 7 guys out. Just because, well, I like Badab War and I would like some of those. Thank you. And I'm a little worried about the future of the Tactical Marines. But um, beyond that, if you have an idea why this game is around or you have some experience, let me know. Because I just look at it and go, why does this exist? Because it, it feels like Yu-Gi-Oh! with models, and from what I can tell. So, maybe that's just my bad understanding of the whole situation. Maybe I just don't, don't get what the kids are into these days. You know, that would be normal. I haven't for a long time, but I don't know. I just look at it and I'm like, I'm trying desperately to understand the market that this is meant to apply to, that all of the pushes in the competitive sense for the main games haven't already done, or hell, what Kill Team doesn't already do, so I, you know, if you know what this fills in terms of um, a game model let me know because i just sit there and go it looks like another attempt at a competitive thing that just kind of fell flat though it had some fun models in it from what i could tell but 
Eh, who knows? But uh, hey, guys, uh, thanks Games Workshop for another th Heresy Thursday that doesn't have any heresy in it. Ooh, bye bye.